desperately needed <clears throat> and taken advantage of. I was I set my alarm to lay down for an hour. It's been two and a half hours. Can you tell by my eyes? But at least I got this much going over here. I really need to go and get my window unit air conditioner out of storage so I can put it in here so I can be a little bit more comfortable you know because right now I get out here and I get up early and I start sweating and sweating and sweating and sweating and next thing you know it's just like oh right now it's not so bad because it's um, it's almost seven o'clock so the Sun is starting to go away and there's a, a breeze coming through. It's not necessarily a cool breeze, like me. I didn't really make an intro to today's uh, vlog. I got up and uh, started messing around with the dogs, and then I cleaned up in here, and their food bowl had a ton of ants in it, and I should have I should have documented it, because it was crazy. Like, the amount of ants in their food bowl was nuts. I mean, scary. And so I panicked, you know, I, I immediately grabbed the dog bowl and I took it outside and then I grabbed a mop and bleach and I tried to mop in here where their, where their food was, hopefully killing the trail so that it doesn't happen again. Did y'all notice him? It's a moose and it has a pair of Casey Neistat sunglasses on. Hey, Poppy. I'm not saying Casey Neistat looks like a moose. I just happened to put him there. Who let the moose out? Who, 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 who let the moose out? Who, 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 who? Danny, what do you think of that moose? Once again, I'm at the local grocery store picking up some pet food for the pups and the kids. It's Monday night, so it's, I don't know, it's a, it's a busy time. It's like people everywhere. The parking lot's packed and there's people running around all over the place. All right, let's get inside and see what the goods has got. Maybe there's a sale on something. Back from getting dog food, the dogs are all fed. There's no ants in the food bowl. Nice, we're looking pretty good right now. Um, while I was at the grocery store, you didn't get to see, I ran into an old friend from elementary school, um, Chris, I won't say his last name. Um, I wish I could have stuck around and talked to him longer, but of course I had to get back. I mean, there was, and there was a thousand people there at the grocery store. But good seeing you, Chris, if you're watching this, good to see you, brother. I was gonna include a story from yesterday, but I didn't do it yesterday, of uh, Father's Day. I was gonna give you a, a story that most memorable, one of the most memorable stories to me with my dad growing up. Growing up, uh, my dad was in the Air Force and we traveled between, mainly between Colorado Springs and San Antonio, Texas. And we did that trip, you know, several times. And I was born in Guam. Well, um, while in Colorado, you can imagine, there's so much to do with the mountains there and everything. Um, my dad and his friends and co-workers uh, used to get together on the weekends and do stuff occasionally. And one of my dad's best friends who worked alongside him had two sons. One was my age and became my best friend and, and uh, another son that was a little bit older than us that was in high school already. They take us fishing up in the mountains in a stream. Now, I had never been stream fishing before. Um, we've been fishing in lakes and we've been fishing in the ocean, I believe, but we've never been fishing in a stream. So it was like, or, or, or a river, that is. But these were more like streams, like clear water streams, right? Like, okay, we're at a bait, well, you know, what do we do? And they had 
brought in Brutton. They brought lunch and somebody had a bottle of red maraschino cherries. Okay. Now, mind you, we hadn't caught in anything, I don't think, any fish at all at this point. And um, then now we're out of bait, so we're probably not going to catch anything at all. Well, I don't know if it was my dad or the other guy, his name was John, that was the father of my buddy, um, if which one of them decided to try this, but they pulled out one of the cherries, they cut it up, and uh, they put it on the hook, threw it out, and caught a trout, a speckled trout, or a rainbow trout. It was a trout, I remember that. But I was blown away. And I guess still, it's, 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 I was like, you caught a fish with a cherry. How is that possible, you know? And, uh, but I remember my dad, you know, telling me, look, just try this. He wasn't big on explanation, you know? He wasn't gonna explain it all to me, why and what and everything, but gets me the hook, helps me tie the line, put the hook on, shows me how to, you know, set it up so that it's, it's not like fishing in a lake, obviously, but um, throw it in and sure enough, we're catching fish with cherries. And it was really, really cool. That's one of the good memories I have with my dad. Thanks, dad. All right. Well, let's see, what else? I, maybe, I probably have more stories, but I do definitely have more stories, but they're much longer. I have a way of taking a regular length story and dragging it out to a two hour long full feature movie. I apologize, it's just the way I describe stuff and act it out. Say lovey. I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. Okay, have a good night everybody. Talk at you later. I'm just adding this last little thing because, for one, it just bugs me. It's a pet peeve, it irks me, however you want to put it. But when I watch, and I do watch a lot of YouTube, <clears throat> the people who are constantly staring at themselves in the viewfinder, constantly, it bugs me. Like, look into the camera. Don't stare at yourself in the, in. like, I could do that too. I mean, this is what it looks like when I stare at, at myself into the monitor, into the viewfinder, and just, like, try to position myself and bat my eyes or whatever. And it's not all females. There's guys that do it too, and it just bugs me. You know why? Because it doesn't show any consideration, in my opinion. And this is only my opinion only my opinion I've learned I learned I did learn this a long time ago don't look into the camera if it's something that you're playing out if you're acting out something but if you're being interviewed and or doing a vlog like this where you have an audience where you're speaking to them like I am with you right now I'm trying to look at you I wish that I could actually see it but I can't so people that stare into the dang viewfinder is this the vanity of that. I mean, it, it, it's like, mm, I don't even know. It just bugs me. And there goes my rant. Okay. Now that I got that off, I don't even know if I should include that in the, in the vlog. But why not? I mean, I'm trying to be honest with you guys. It's just a pet peeve of mine. And maybe you'll notice it now. If you watch people's vlogs, you watch people's videos, you'll notice if they stare into the camera or into the viewfinder at themselves the whole time tell me what you think it, it will it, it will bug you if i point it out or you know if, if it now that it's been pointed out not that i necessarily did it or if it already exists in your brain that it bugs you too let me know in the comments below it bugs me and i do a little bit but not like the entire time i'll do it to look in the background behind me like when i do this but not the entire time. I try to stay focused right here. Okay, enough of that. Have a good night, everybody.